So STAR uh, stands for Smart Tissue Autonomous Robot. The goal is to automate critical part uh, of the surgeries. So really the main idea behind this project is to take the advantages of machines and the advantages of human intelligence surgeons and kind of combine them and see if we can do something that's better than both of those in isolation. We're one of the seven centers in the country funded by FDA to support uh, product development cycle for pediatric focused unmet needs. I was doing a fairly sort of unique set of surgery fixing children with airway disease. The challenge that I faced was that I thought that a knowledge that's simply contained within a human being uh, that, that cannot be transmitted. So that sort of got me thinking that it would be great to program best surgeons techniques into a machine and have it available. So ultimately democratizing surgery. The Da Vinci in the classical sense, you might not even say as a robot because it doesn't have any motions of its own, it's completely controlled. Uh, our system, on the other hand, does things on its own, so it could be considered more autonomous than the Da Vinci. Current robots on the market, such as the Da Vinci, are completely teleoperated. So that means that every motion of the robot is actually done by the surgeon. So there's no autonomy, there's no intelligence of the robotic system itself. And the STAR system is supervised autonomous. So the surgeon you know, helps with the planning, but then the robot performs the critical part of the surgery autonomously. When you actually look at surgical tools, the basic mechanics and designs and ergonomics of tools really haven't changed from Roman times to medievals to open surgical era to minimal invasive to da Vinci as a surgical robot. These are essentially a power tool that really has no intelligence. What's different about STAR is that it has awareness. So we did a couple of things. Number one, improve the vision part. The second part is it, we've added some sort of a quasi-haptic or sensor technology so it feels a little bit rather than not feeling at all. So the idea being that even with a very minimal improvement in vision and intelligence technology, just imagine what it could be in the future if you continue to improve on this. I think the future is going to be kind of continuing down the path of bringing the benefits of machines and the benefits of humans together to accomplish something in a collaborative manner. I would think that we're going to see a lot of enhancements in perceptive capability of robots and enhancements in the decision-making capability of machines. And so this combined with the surgeon's kind of uh, you know, innate knowledge and training, I think is going to be widely used in the future.